getting more shots in arms. But some are still skeptical about the vaccine, saying they need more information. It's, it still isn't a guarantee. You know, people, people can still contract COVID after you get the vaccine. And, and also, it's just like, it's, for me, it just hasn't been tested enough. Just want things to be more verified, make sure there's no side effects. More people will be able to get vaccinated in Florida starting Monday. The governor announcing today that anyone age 50 and older can get the shot. News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott showed us at five. There are a lot of people who are choosing to skip the vaccine. Now he shows us the special efforts taking place to get minorities and others vaccinated. Now, this is one of the pop up vaccine sites that's happening at the Harvey's on the north side of town. Working with Florida Blue, they were offering 200 shots of the J&J &J vaccine today. Now, they really want to keep this to this neighborhood and they're focusing here, but this is part of the effort to get more people vaccinated. There were a few on hand to take advantage of the one dose Johnson and Johnson shot. While 200 vaccines were available today, not all of them were used. This was an effort by the insurance giant Florida Blue and Harvey's grocery store chain to target this minority community, an area where there is reluctance to get the vaccine. That's something Dr. Kelly Wells of Florida Blue says she's trying to change. We know what COVID is doing to communities of color. And the way to solve that and to help folks come up out of that is to be sure that they have access to vaccine right here in their neighborhood. Dr. Wells says some of those on hand had no way to get to the site. And this is one way to make sure people in the neighborhood get the shot. The fact that the governor is now lowering the age requirement to 50 starting on Monday may not have much of an impact in this area. One person that has personal contact with people in the neighborhood is pharmacist Nicole Berry. Since you are their pharmacist, mm -hmm. how do you convince them? So for me, I let them know I'm vaccinated. Uh, my staff is vaccinated. We're all vaccinated and we have not had any issues. I want them to understand that we're trying to cut down on these cases. And the only way to do this is by making sure that everyone is vaccinated. And while this pop-up site was just for one day, others are expected to pop up at various locations in the coming weeks and months in order to try and spread the vaccine instead of the virus. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.